If you walk down Istanbul, there's shops and right now, you know, where people are just buying, selling, you know, Neo, Ripple, you name it, like just, just un, it's in the you know, glass window instead of having like US dollar, Euro, pound. Right, it right. just has like all the crypto, our favorite cryptocurrencies, which is yeah. awesome to see. Welcome back to Decentralized, sitting down with Erhan Korhaliler founder of EAK Digital and Istanbul Blockchain Week. And welcome to the show. Thanks so much for being here, man. Thanks, Owen. Thanks for having me. Appreciate you. Now, uh, Turkey is an interesting country in crypto, and we're not really hearing too much in sort of the general media channels. A lot of it focused otherwise, you know, North America, of course, Europe, Asia. Mm -hmm. Tell me about Turkey and its crypto adoption. What's going on there? So Turkey has a thriving crypto community. Um, like in a recent ING report, 20% of Turkish people have owned crypto, so which is 20 percent. Yes, that's got to be one of the biggest. Globally. It is the biggest, it's the biggest 20 percent, at least in Europe, it is. Um, and basically, if you look at the Turkish um, in economy about 18 months ago, 12 months ago, uh, it sunk really, really low. And obviously yeah. the Turkish community is hedging into Bitcoin, especially Bitcoin. Um, and, you know, a lot of major uh, crypto companies, especially exchanges, have been really eyeing up Turkey as, as a PR agency owner. I get hit up by some of the top exchanges all the time saying, how do we enter Turkey? Because they see my right. name and they put two and two together. And um, yeah, I mean, and also, you know, not, not even just that. It's like uh, people don't even realize that there's 25 million unbanked people in Turkey. Right. So whenever you talk about unbanked, you think about maybe Africa. You don't think Turkey, at least I didn't think that myself. So that's quite an incredible statistic. So, you know, the, the, the raw ingredients are there for a, a really big dose of crypto adoption. Not only that, um, you know, the Turkish uh, government and finance uh, department recently put out um, a new bill that is talking about how they're going to integrate an open source uh, blockchain uh, software into their current ecosystem okay um, which is very very interesting so um, whilst you might not have seen it there's a lot going on right now also and just the last point and in a couple of days ago President Erdogan uh, actually said that next year Turkey will be launching its own Turk coin okay. which is its own version of the, you know, the digital currency yeah, sure. from the state. So whilst that isn't true decentralization, it shows how forward thinking the Turkish government is about putting blockchain into into its uh, society. And that puts it in quite a small cohort then to have a sovereign crypto token issuance. Right. Yeah. I mean, so probably China will go first. Yeah. And it looks like Turkey will go second, which is one of the main reasons. So everything that I've just mentioned of why I believe Istanbul is a perfect venue uh, to run Istanbul Blockchain Week, you know, to run a blockchain week. Yeah, sure. So with my background, uh, I'm half Turkish, half British, of course. And, you know, I've always thought of how can I give back to my Turkish you know, brothers and sisters? <laughs> yeah, you know, sure. I spent I spent most of my life in living in London. Yeah. And obviously, you can tell I don't have a Turkish accent at all. Right. And, and I'm seeing these great projects rising up in Turkey, but they don't get the kind of mainstream attention that they do and that they should get, sorry. And as a, running a leading PR agency, I feel like I can really make a difference by bringing sure. those international yeah. projects, bringing the international media into Turkey and really seeing you know, the Turkish ecosystem grow. That makes a lot of sense. Now, of course, you're going to bring some big names to the scene, but what is it like on the ground in Turkey? What's a startup scene like there? I mean, you mentioned you know, a lot of exchanges are looking to expand into the country. What's happening locally? Yeah, sure. So, yeah, there are some major exchanges coming into Turkey, of course, like the um, Huawei and Binance are all over running meetups. But in terms of like Turkish projects, uh, the largest Turkish exchange, I believe, is BTC Turk. Um, they actually sponsor one of the major football teams in the Superliga and the Turkish oh, no team. Okay. And you might have seen recently uh, Galatasaray uh, launched its own uh, token under Socios and Chile's yeah, yeah, yeah. exhibiting sure. here today. So we'll definitely be doing a, pa a football panel, which right football, on. not soccer, uh, <laughs> which I'll be very interested in. And I'm sure the Turkish community, they're football crazy. So right, they'll right. love that. Yeah. Um, and also, you know, actually, there's not like a, a huge amount of projects, but the projects that are there are good. I think there's like there's definitely over 50 projects right now. Um, the largest ones are like Colendi and Menapay, mainly payment or lending services. Um, but also, you might have noticed that Cointelegraph, which is obviously one of the leading media in the space, have just yep. opened the Cointelegraph Turkish edition. Mm -hmm. um, and there's lots of investment now going into Turkey in this space. You know, people are seeing those figures from the ING reports right. and various other reports and really targeting, saying, Hatch, you know, sorry, it's 86 million people in this country and it's ripe for adoption and the government 
wants to be there. So it's just yeah. like, this is kind of, we've got, we've got all the right ingredients into yeah, the pan. For sure. It's just a case of, you know, maybe I can sprinkle some salt on the toy, salt bay yeah, and man. make it rain. Yeah. <laughs> right on, dude. Okay, cool. So then let's talk about what you're planning to do. Walk me through the blockchain week. What do you have planned? How are you going to make it stand out from, uh, you know, we got a ton of conferences happening globally. Why yeah. do we want to go to the, uh, you know, Turkey blockchain week? Well, one, Istanbul is a beautiful city, of course. Um, the people are very warm. The weather is nice. Yeah. Um, the food is great. Mm -hmm. uh, but in terms of the Istanbul Blockchain Week itself, you know, obviously it'll be a whole week. Um, EAK will be uh, the ones who are organizing the main event of Istanbul Blockchain Week, uh, which will be probably on the Thursday and Friday. Of course, we want to uh, give this a call out to projects who would love to like meet the Turkish community and build a community there. Um, so by all means, please get in touch with me. Um, and basically what we can expect is around 20 or so side events. Yeah. Um, we're seeing actually some larger, com some mid-sized conferences that want to also run their conference during our week as well. Okay, yeah. So a bit like New York uh, Blockchain Week where they had consensus and they had that magical crypto conference. Yeah, yeah. We want to build, we, we want to really want to bring the international uh, scene over here. So we don't want to just have our conference. We really want to be open. Any project that wants to run a side event, a simple Blockchain Week, just going to get in touch with us. We, they don't, we're not charging them anything to promote it. We'll obviously promote it through EAK's channels, which are extensive. Um, and ultimately, we're doing this so that the ecosystem in Turkey, the projects in Turkey can get mainstream, you know, uh, international partnerships yeah. and, you know, help people on the ground. You know, also, the Turkish economy is still not that good right now. Right. So if we can help, you know, um, graduates, you know, even you know, middle aged people, it doesn't matter really how old they are. But if we can get those people into jobs, into this industry yeah, of course. and people are always asking right now about blockchain crypto, if you walk down Istanbul, there's shops and right now, you know, where people are just buying, selling, you know, Neo, Ripple, you name it, like just just un, it's in the you know, glass window instead of having like US dollar, Euro, pound. Right, it right. It just has like all the crypto, our favorite cryptocurrencies, which is yeah. awesome to see. Absolutely. Yeah. So it's interesting to see the government support of the industry in general. And like you said, launching their own sovereign token. Interesting. And you mentioned regulation. I mean, when we look at, you know, in certain jurisdictions, especially when the government comes into play, they're happy to do it themselves, but not necessarily psyched about having a lot of these sort of private companies entering the space. So on the regulatory side, is it is it looking pretty positive for, you know, uh, like you said, our favorite cryptocurrencies out there? Or what's on the horizon? Well, I think reg regulation in Turkey is still a little bit unclear, um, which, you know, uh, is something that I believe that they'll be looking at, like actually confirming soon. Of course, you know, it's very similar to China in that like blockchain, perfect crypto, not so good right so it's very important of course you know when you're doing a conference like this that blockchain is the main um is the main kind of driver of this and not yeah. not crypto self sovereignty like libertarian dreams of you know some exactly. of the yeah, yeah. big influences in the space uh, i do think the blockchain has you know such a, a great capacity to change you know enterprise and to change it with people's lives in turkey yeah. especially in turkey listen in turkey you know, if you buy a piece of land in the sticks somewhere you know like it, it, without, if it's not on the blockchain, it can be questioned you right, know, whether right, you really sure. own it, depending on who you know. And it, we just really, Turkey, and, you know, these, these, these economies that are you know, building very, very fast, they need that kind of, um, kind of you know, confirmation of and, and, and just, to, just, just, just to have a society that works, you know, and, and I'm really, really keen to, to push that forward. We'll be having government speakers at our event for sure. Right on. Yeah. Right on. Well, then let's talk quickly the event itself. When is it? Who can we expect? So it's in April. Yeah. It's either the first or second week of April. We're okay. still confirming that with our proposed ven venue, which we haven't quite announced yet. Um, who can you expect? Again, we're still confirming speakers. Course, yeah. um, so I don't want to say right now who we can expect, but you can expect that some of the top 10, 20 speakers in the whole circuit is coming down. Everyone is excited about Turkey. From Everyone I've spoken to, no one's even said to me like, no, not interested. Everyone right. has been like, send it over, send it over, we're interested. Okay, okay. But what I can say is that, you know, we've got the, some of the leading influencers coming down using our PR space, you know, yeah. PR knowledge. Ivan on Tech is coming, Data Dash is coming. I can say crypto.com are, uh, are coming and they're probably going to put sponsor, right on. Uh, which is, you know, a really large project. So, um, yeah, th those are the first of three. I'm expecting even bigger names to come. So, yeah, to watch this space. You just need to go to IstanbulBlockchainWeek.com mm -hmm. or at Istanbul Blockchain. WK, we couldn't fit the weekend. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, but yeah, that guys, check it out. Please come down. Your tickets are going to be very cheap. Yeah, uh, we're not here to like make a ton of money. We're here to help the Turkish eco blockchain ecosystem. That's very important. Okay. Yeah. So that's an interesting sort of USP. Then I mean, a lot of these conferences, you see ticket prices three, four, five hundred dollars, even and, you know, up from there. And I mean, it, like you say, you know, your goal is a little more altruistic, giving back to Turkey and, exactly. and really involving the general community. So that's cool to hear that that's going to be represented also in the uh, admission prices as well. That's Honest, great. Honestly, like people have said to me, you know, what if, you know, 
something happens, you know, a disaster of some kind, whether it's a political disaster or something, would you just come and move it somewhere else? And I said to them, look, I'm not interested in doing it if we're not doing it in Turkey. I'm doing it right. in Turkey because I'm half right. Turkish. I have a passion for the country and my family and everyone else there in the ecosystem. So if, it, if we had to move out of Turkey, I wouldn't even bother. I'd just continue doing the PR agency, which we're successful at anyway. Right. It's a passion project. You're passionate about it, of course. Once again, IstanbulBlockchainWeek.com, Istanbul Blockchain, at Istanbul Blockchain, WK, WK. Yeah. on all the socials. Exactly. Okay, Aaron, right. thanks so much. Thanks, man. Owen. Thanks for having me. Cheers. Cheers. Well, hey, uh, there you are. Thanks for stopping by. Remember to check out our most recent videos. We've got them right here for you. Like, subscribe, all that good stuff. We'll see you again soon.